All right, here we are at uh, the location shoot for my newest photo shoot for my newest helmet. As you can see, we are at a Porsche dealership and I thought this was the perfect, perfect backdrop for my latest custom Washington Redskins helmet. So let's uh, do the photo shoot now, shall we? We shall. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is my latest creation. It's my Washington Redskins Raider style helmet silver and black isn't that cool Ugh. and i thought here at the porsche dealership would be the perfect uh backdrop background for it as you can see did a very good job the sun is even in the in the right position as you can see not here though on the other side the sun is good but not here We're done with the photo shoot here at the uh, Porsche dealership here and this is the beautiful helmet that I uh, that I just created it's a Washington Redskins Raider style helmet I took some photos here at the Porsche dealership pretty cool okay folks welcome back to Washington DC it is another beautiful day here in Washington bright and sunny only partly cloudy I would say it is about uh, 80 degrees so it's not too hot not too cold and I'm on my way to lunch here at DuPont Circle uh, here in Washington DC DuPont Circle is a very famous area here in Washington DC a lot of uh, famous shops and a lot of uh, you know restaurants cafes so I am going to have lunch at one of those cafes at DuPont Circle so let's head on out there now if I could try to remember where it is this is the famous uh, Hurich House Museum also known as the Brewmaster's Castle because it was the home of a uh, famous brewmaster here in Washington DC but now it has been converted into a museum never actually been in there but one of these days I will be going to go in there somewhere. It's got a nice garden in the back. I've been to the garden. That's where she's going now. Maybe one of these days I can have lunch there. That's Dupont Circle as you can see. And this is Sunny Bono Park. See this little park right here? This is Sunny Bono Park dedicated to Sonny Bono, the famous singer and uh, later congressman. They found a little space for, uh, for a park to be dedicated to him. Anyway, we're almost, we're in the DuPont Circle area now, heading off for lunch. Well, here's where we're having lunch. New Dynasty. 
down here at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the thing here. Let's see how many people they got over there. Let's see what we got. All right, let's go up there to Phantom Comics. Let's see what they uh, see what they have in the way of comics and maybe toys. Cause yeah, I have to put my mask on. Hang on. So we have to go up here, and uh, yeah, there's a fire exit up there. See, and here it is. Let's see if they got any kind of cool toys that I can. Here's Phantom Comics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. I haven't been in a comic book store in quite a long time. Looks like a lot of new. Uh, New titles, a lot of new uh, comic books since, since I uh, started collecting them a long time ago. I just thought I'd drop by and see what the latest is in comics nowadays. Anyway, let's go next door to the Second Story Books, a used bookstore, a famous used bookstore here in Washington, D.C., DuPont Circle. There it is, as you can see, Second Story Books. Let's go in there and see what we can find. All right, we're at the bookstore. I'm looking. Made a beeline for the sports section. Let's see if they got any Redskin books here. Hmm, look at this very interesting book here. Batman 66 comic book version. Hmm. Hmm. I might buy this. Welcome to DuPont Circle everyone. I'm going to try to get to the Kramer Books, which is down there on Connecticut Avenue. And this is the circle itself, DuPont Circle. Let's get on out there now. All right, turns out I didn't need to go through the circle. This Kramer Books is right over here. As you can see, there's a lot more uh, homeless encampments now. There didn't, there, uh, didn't used to be, but now there's a lot. See all the homeless encampments? It didn't used to be this much. Now there's a lot here in DuPont Circle. Such is the state of America. Post-COVID, post-lockdown. This is a Starbucks over here. It's always been a Starbucks as far as I know. Anyway, we're heading down to Kramer Books down there. Well, welcome to uh, Kramer Books, everyone. Kramer Books is a bookstore, and there's also a cafeteria next door, inside the store. Yeah. As you can see, this is the bookstore here. This part back here, this used to be part of the bookstore, and now they converted it into the cafeteria. Well, as you can see, they've closed off this this whole street. You see, you can't even make a turn. This is Dupont Circle right here, and you make a right here, and uh, you get stopped by these barriers because they uh, they have outdoor eating areas over here. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of changes here in the Dupont Circle area. Here's the circle itself over here. A lot of barricades. A lot of homeless encampments. A lot of these changes ever since the uh, ever since the beginning of the pandemic. Let's see if we can cross before this guy gets here. And uh, uh, which is uh, Massachusetts? So that's Massachusetts over here. This is the Dupont Underground. See, once in a while they turn this into like a like a museum or some kind of uh, exhibit space. Right now it's closed. See what's down there, see? The DuPont Underground. All right, so we've come to the more residential area of DuPont Circle. Actually, these aren't residences. These are once upon a time residences, but now they're offices. 
bunch of different law firms and, and embassies and, and uh, other companies that have bought these buildings and now using it as offices. Yeah. DuPont Circle, everybody. Oh, here's the Botswana Embassy right here. This is the Botswana Embassy, everybody. The long-time location of the Botswana Embassy. Well, now, this is a more residential area of DuPont Circle. Not, as you can see, a lot of nice uh, townhouses here uh, on a tree-lined, quiet street with uh, you know, it's kind of quiet, so it's nice. Must be nice living here, but probably expensive. These townhouses here in close to Washington, downtown Washington, they must be at least a million dollars each, at least. But they're nice. I like it. Approaching the corner of 17th and Q, that building up there, that is the Cairo building. The Cairo building is the tallest residential building here in Washington, D.C. After they built that, they didn't build anything taller than the Cairo building. So it stands right now as the tallest residential building here in Washington, D.C. Here on 17th Street. This area of the city of DuPont Circle is considered the, uh, the gay area of the city. That's why you will notice a lot of gay pride flags, the rainbow flags around here because this city is, this area in DuPont Circle is, uh, is uh, the concentration of the gay area of the city here on 17th Street especially next to the CVS We're crossing Connecticut Avenue, this is like the unofficial start of Embassy Row Embassy row in Connecticut Avenue down there is a long row of embassies starting with here. This is the uh, this is the Peruvian embassy. Right next to me is the Philippine embassy right here. And uh, further on down there are more embassies. This is kind of entering the uh, the, uh, the embassy and office side of DuPont Circle area neighborhood and kind of right on the fringes of the DuPont Circle area neighborhood. A lot of embassies, a lot of businesses. This is a hotel. This is the Beacon Hotel. There you go. That's the Beacon. Three days later. Alright everybody, welcome to Boston Market. This is where I'm having lunch today. I haven't had Boston Market in a long time. Go to Boston Market. Today. Here's my half chicken. See that half chicken? Delicious. Right now for the main event. The half chicken. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Let's see. Where do we start here? Yeah. Delicious half chicken. Rotisserie. Rotisserie style chicken. The corn. Mm. Ah, the chicken has been consumed. It's all in my tummy now. That is one dead chicken. Okay, after that delicious lunch at Boston Market, I think I'm going to do some shopping I need some shoes well I don't need it but I'm looking for gray shoes or blue shoes because my gray shoes are all beat up so I'm gonna go to this uh, little shopping area here they have a Marshalls here and a Burlington so there might be something good over here let's check it out all right let's head to the Ross here the Ross dress for less and see if we can find something in there that we can buy okay Head to the Ross right now, right inside there. Let's do it. I'm gonna get this backpack. It's a nice backpack. I got a lot of backpack, but this one kind of stands out and I want to buy it. It's uh, $30. 
I'm gonna buy these shoes too. The nice gray shoes. Look at that. RBX. This one's only. This one's only 23 bucks. So. So I'll buy that. Great. I'm gonna try these shoes out. These are navy blue shoes from Fila. At a good price, $25. I mean, look. I'm gonna try it out. Oh, I didn't realize I have a hole in my sock. Look at that. It's a hole in my sock. Well, at least it cools it out. It airs it out. Mm, look at this. It's like a Millennium Falcon pen holder. Look at that. Got a little pen there. Mm. Down here we have a tape dispenser. That's like a walker. Imperial walker that's been bound. But it's a tape dispenser. There's a Death Star. This is a paperweight. Looks like a paperweight. Hmm, interesting. Got more paperweights down there. This one's a lightsaber pizza slicer. Look at that. Huh. What is that? That's a Darth Vader lamp or something. Okay, I guess uh, that's it for today. I just ended up buying a couple of things that. Uh, at uh, five below over here and now I'm heading back to where I uh, where I parked my car using this little quiet back way over here well I guess that's it for this vlog uh, that's it for this week uh, you know it was a nice vlog a nice video for you to watch for this week so if you liked it like this vlog this video please click, click the like button below and if you liked it enough to subscribe, then then by all means, uh, please do subscribe. Okay? So, until next week. Oh, the echo is nice in here. Good. So, until next week, I will have to say, Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then Happy trails to you Till we meet again Happy trails, partners! Well, it's the end of an era. This is what I used to use to paint my helmets in. But now I don't use and really paint my helmets all that much anymore. So I'm just going to throw it out. It's just making a mess and taking up space.